Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be talking about my politics. I know this probably won't go over well. However, I thought it would be a good idea to have at the beginning of my channel, the creation of it, content that would tell about my personality, my worldview, to get to know me better. Most of my voting life, I didn't care about a party line, Democrat or Republican. I never took it seriously for most of my life. Maybe two weeks before an election, a major election, I would pay attention, do some research. I'm not a big TV or news person, newspaper guy. And minor elections, local, I would say, you know, three days if I knew the election was going to happen. I always felt I would have to do my part, though. So I've always gone and tried to make my vote count. However... After I got out of my depression and at the tail end of my Facebook wars, there was a question or a post by a cousin and it had to do with Trump. It was, I guess, the time at the beginning of his uh, presidency. And I have a little thing I do before I post on social media. I open up a notepad that I keep open and when I'm going to type a response, I usually type, leave it in the notepad first, type it, take a breath, analyze what I wrote, and then post it. So this cousin posted about a Trump uh, story, I'm not sh sure which one it was, and as I looked at my response in notepad, I realized, analyzing it, that it was really just bias, I didn't know exactly all the details. But I just wanted to analyze my uh, intentions, my motives. After looking at it a little bit, I actually posted and said in the uh, thread as a comment, I don't have a informed opinion, but I'm going to look into it. You know, something like that. Or this was interesting. I probably regret it, <laughs> thinking about it now. Politics suck. However, I thought I'd treat it like a real research project. In general, I started noticing things through the years, although I was very busy with things going on in my life, things I didn't like very much and uh, protesting, how they would treat protesters when they were peaceful, the general vibe of politics, not that I ever cared. So now that I decided to do some research with my new mindset, I found it to be just pitiful, looking into political science, behavior, it's just mind-boggling. There was studies I looked at in neurology where they could do scans of a brain and with a good percentage of chance they could guess if you were a Democrat or Republican. That stuff interests me, the psychology of it perhaps, but the, when you get down and dirty into the political system, the people in politics, it gets me, it disturbs me a lot. I never was really a big activist, maybe a couple of things I went to when I was younger, although there was a place I went to several times where they had a local representative of the community, I'm not sure what the title was, but I was never really too into it, but now with my new mindset, coming out of um, an ordeal I had in my life, I decided... I'm going to treat things in a different way, be a little serious, be supportive of people more, and look at it with an unbiased opinion, take the time to inform myself, gather the uh, evidence, so to speak. So I went looking and using skills and things you pick up. I had to find reliable sites, sources of information that weren't biased. It kind of gets disappointing when you look at all this media, all the misinformation, the propaganda, it gets ridiculous. You can even look further and you see the gaslighting and just utter um, manipulation of the news. 
So that was kind of interesting. And the system I sort of used, I didn't want to know the sources themselves. I wanted to see when I asked a question or looked into a, a matter, I wanted to see which ones eventually told the truth. And that led me to eventually, for the last couple of years, have sources I kind of rely on to go to to at least get an informed opinion, maybe with no bias involved. We get through the last couple of years with this clown of a president. For one thing, I don't really care, like I said before, Democrat or Republican, although now looking into it, I'm kind of sick of them both. But I think there is a frame of mind where people just lose their mind over Trump. And there are very justified reasons to call him a clown, a liar, whatever name you want to think of. So I'm not a fan, and I know of him from the early days of Howard Stern, and I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, so he's somebody I'm familiar with in, in that sense. When you look at all the things he's supposed to be tied to and all the surroundings of it, it gets muddied and just pathetic. However, I think you can do that with almost anybody. But I do understand more the mentality of you just fed up, the way he speaks, the way he does things. So that might have been the initial launch into it, but I wanted to become more informed, get more involved. And there were things like the pipeline protest, Occupy Wall Street, where there's a clear change where it's just the police are too brutal, seem to be working in a fashion that tends toward fascism or just a, a political agenda I'm not happy with. So all in all, I'm getting a bad sense of it, looking into actual politicians themselves became even more uh, disgusting. I think now that I'm looking back at it, it was a probably a worthwhile effort looking into all the connecting pieces of the, the political landscape. But I don't think I could call myself um, really informed or uh, anywhere near an expert in certain aspects. But at least now when I go to do things and I vote or if I talk online about a certain situation, I have a somewhat idea and then I'll look into it and I have a regimen of things I have to do before I'll, I'll, I'll say something. Like I said, I do have a tip where I open notepad. I'll type a response in there, look at it, take a breath. Now, getting up to right before Trump's election, I was not interested for a reason that Hillary screwed over Bernie in the in the, in that race to find a Democrat. I found it ridiculous, scandalous. It should be a big thing, and all the people involved with DNC. All right, so you got the two most hated politicians run up against each other, and I just didn't care. Although I had to settle for Hillary. I didn't like it at all. I should have. I would have voted third party. And I don't agree with the logic of third party votes uh, did anything or Russian ads made a huge impact. To me, the bottom line is you got two of the most hated people in, po in politics. Hillary outspends Trump two to one, but she also props him up because she thinks he's going to be easy to beat. That whole mentality... Just backfired on her. He promised certain things. People were fed up already. Trump wins. Although he didn't win the popular vote. You can look back to, I believe it's Bush. This will have a backlash eventually. You'll have, um, who knows what president they'll get next. Or if they even go through with the impeachments, which is another aspect of this, is just get me fucking crazy. You got the Russia Gate nonsense. Fine, you want to investigate? I'm all for it. Find your 
evidence presented, but I found Mueller's testimony and the whole thing to be garbage. And let's not even talk about the Kavanaugh bullshit that started happening. And he was eventually put into the fucking judges. So the whole thing's a mess. You find out that the politicians are in with the corporations, making money. And I'm left with, at the beginning of this race, four politicians that I could say on the Democrat side I would vote for. I'd probably vote for Jill Stein or a third party also. I'm done with the looking at it as, oh, the lesser of two evils or vote blue no matter who. That's not going to work for me. And I'm not going to shame someone else who they voted for. And at this point, politics is so shitty. I don't even blame people who don't vote, which was a major factor in Trump winning. So I think, in my opinion right now, I would think Bernie, Tulsi are my favorites. I could see settling for Yang. And I'm kind of worried about Warren. I don't trust her anymore with all the information that's been revealed. And I think that's it. I'm not going to go for a party representative who is going to take corporate money. Now they have old labels for it and they backtrack. So it's, oh, I'm not going to take the dark money, but I'll do it in if I get nominated and have to run for president. And people will say things like, you got to go up against Trump or do anything to beat him. And that logic doesn't work with me because Hillary outspent him. I think you got to hit him on his policies. And I think that's lacking in media. They're just so biased. Not even recognizing Bernie's uh, rock star politicians. Selling out stadiums. Always has been. And no one's perfect. I get it. Even my favorite, who I would say is Tulsi Gabbard. You look back to her youth. Done stupid things. She has admitted it. That's what happens kind of when you're indoctrinated. But now where the policies count and the votes matter, laws that are created make a difference. I could at least stand behind them. Because that was one thing which made me um, understand politics in a way that I was okay with it, is I would vote for a stance. Like I didn't care a label, really. And I guess looking right now, I could you can call me a... A little left of center, if you wanted to label me something, maybe progressive. But if it's not Bernie or Tulsi who have great ideas, I'm all for ending the wars, the regime change wars. So Tulsi's got a great plan, great ideas. I love the Medicare for all. And I don't think I'm going to settle for anybody else. So if they do their shifty criminal bullshit, the Democrats... And somehow screw Bernie over, or you find out some scam happened with these fucking head of DNCs and all the super delegate crap they pull. We'll see. But those are my favorite right now. I wish they would implement things, and I think they're starting to. I think there's tier voting, which I think is a great idea. You could have your first, second, and third place favorites so you want to vote third party for jill stein or someone else then second you can go okay i'll I'll go for bernie and then third place tulsi and if they don't whoever gets the delegation the delegates you know how that works they can always get screwed but i don't know i looked into the super delicate stuff and it sickened me and right it looks like an obvious scam to me anyway I'm not happy with this political landscape these days. I don't feel we have much of a voice unless these two candidates I picked win. Because even if you're against uh, the total social uh, socialism bullshit propaganda they pull, to me, you need capitalism. It needs to be supported by social, libertarian, and other ideas. Strong unions. 
But you got capitalism now. Run amok. I think we need a change. And if it's a change for a certain period of time, fine. Eventually, Republicans will take over and their conservative bullshit and their religious right crap will take precedent and sway things. But if there's a balance, there's no corruption, I'm okay with it. But I think it's time money is out of politics. It's been too long, too corrupt. And there are great channels out there who you can look for to find the history of these things. I'm just rambling about my own uh, personal view of the current predicament we're in. And I don't see the impeachment going all the way. But if it does and there's evidence, I'm fine with it. And I'm also fine with the Republicans looking into the Democrat nonsense, criminal shit that they pulled. If they did it, let them have their hearings too. Like, I don't care. Take them all down who are corrupt. Change the system. We need maybe some radical ideas. Maybe it's time to do protest. You look what's happening around the world. It can have an effect. And I think that's where I stand these days. I don't look at um, a big change coming unless people get their shit together. Can take it seriously. But it's hard. Look at the way we're set up in the cities and the states around the country in the United States. It's work, worrying about things. And the things that you can't control with money, you can't buy happiness, that's somewhat true. But if you have the money, those things come easier. But the way we're run ragged, we're working jobs, and like me, up till my cousin asked a question on Facebook, I didn't care. I didn't have an interest in wondering how corrupt is a, a politician. You got people... Kamala Harris, who you find out about their prosecutor days, and they make excuses for it, all the bullshit she did. And when she got called out on the debates by Tulsi Gabbard, it was a highlight for me. You should be ruined at that point. And that's what these debates are for. I want to see the best candidate, great plans, thorough. People want to spin narrative about Medicare for all or some fucking bullshit spin on um, regime change wars. And when you look at the evidence and you actually look at the plans themselves, they're excellent. They show how it's going to be paid. There's no pie in the sky, unicorn wishing bullshit. Most of these people know what they're doing. And then you got the other side you gotta watch out for like the Cory Bookers who have charisma and speak nice but when you look at their record to this corporate shills they veto bills don't vote for them because they're being paid by some pharmacy some private prison industry and this is rampant amongst all the candidates I can't even believe Biden is even in the race he doesn't even seem to have all his faculties and they prop him up. They show polls with his name on it like he has some clout with anybody. But his substance is, is hollow. He's, he just keeps mimicking the same things. He has no thoughtful process that makes me connect with him like a real person. I think it's time we get politicians like AOC, Alexandria Cortez, uh, Ocasio Cortez. She's going to make mistakes. She's young. Make dumb mistakes. Do stupid things. But she's a master of the Twitter and social media. I think her heart's in the right position. And I think she'll mature and get even better. So if things go that way, I could see change. But one of the last things I want to hit on is how corrupt I think both parties are. So even though I go through, I get an informed opinion, I could... Uh, speak on matters and have an idea 
or at least a process that I can get an informed opinion quick. The more and more things get revealed, the, the narrower my list of candidates can be. And now I look at it as two heads of the same snake. I mean, it just gets ridiculous. I can't even believe when you look at things like the Republicans have a filibuster proof government, you know, had to have the numbers in the House and Senate. The wall wasn't paid for. All these things that they're going to implement never got done. And when the Democrats had the same thing, Medicare for all wasn't uh, put forth and, and gone through without a hitch. The d Democrat conspiracy by some knuckleheads. Why, why, why didn't that happen? Why didn't this Marxist social uh, army take over? Because they're all fucking corrupt. It's like they have words for it, like oligarchs and fucking other bullshit names, but it comes down to corporations running things. Billionaires and the whole joke about trickle down. I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's fucking enough. So, I'm looking at, if I don't get my two favorites as of now, I'll probably go third party, depending on who it is. Because I'm not settling again for a fucking criminal Hillary Clinton. And she's just garbage. And now she's coming back out and opening her mouth and getting involved. Is she going to spout fucking nonsense for their warmongering bullshit? I don't like the idea about politics where no one's held accountable. Banks get bailed out. Companies get bailed out. Billions and billions of dollars. No one goes to jail. Fines are levied. Any one of us in the daily life going to work 9 to 5 will be in jail in a heartbeat. You can't smoke pot without getting the ticket. At least now they decriminalized it, so to speak, in New York. But it's not totally legal like California. It just, just goes to show you can't go and rob $600 from your bank and get away with it. But day after day, month after month, year after year, they wag their fingers at the fucking people in these hearings. If it's not Elizabeth Warren who gets, you know, touted, oh, yay. But what happens? There's no substance to it. No one's held to pay. It's, it's gotten me sick sometimes just thinking about it. I made a decision before my fiance passed, and it was to make certain things happen and at least try. And I feel good because I've accomplished some of uh, the content on my channel. It has to do with something we worked on together. But it also has to do with my age and now deciding that I'm going to either succeed or fail what I love to do. And I'm not playing by the system no more. Now maybe I'm in that predicament for various reasons. But here I am finding myself here. And it's what I can do to justify my everyday existence. And my goals and what, what gets me excited about the next day and moving forward. Is that I get to do things like this. This podcast. Talk about my fucking political views or no one gives a shit about. I get to do things on meditation that uh, interest me and that I've loved for many years, uh, my fantasy, all this stuff. And I get that opportunity maybe because I'm single, the way my environment is. I'm suited for it with part-time jobs that I had to struggle to keep just to keep myself focused. But it's allowed me some wiggle room with doing some podcasts and yes if it means trying to take a subject serious I didn't give a shit about because it means something to a cousin or a friend of mine I'll take the time and I'll do the research and it might be a subject like this for politics 
or it could be other things like woo and um you know the scams that go on out there as a matter of fact i was in the middle of doing that when this question came up i was looking into um reiki healing and acupuncture and well maybe i'll do a podcast on that too however i when you get down to it, it's mostly a placebo effect, in my opinion. Anyway, politics, it's shit. The whole country is a fucking disaster uh, to a certain extent. Do you believe voter fraud? Do you not? How much can they hack? How much did they hack? You look into the things, you find out that uh, UK has been doing it, Canada. And the whole political spin that goes on in media is just terrible you can't even watch cable like there's no news no more that's not filtered by some agenda you have to find independent media on youtube a fucking comedian i like um jimmy Dore's show young turks people like that independent Newspapers, because you can't even trust the good ones like The Intercept and ones that I would rely on. You have to be diligent. You have to be vigilant all the time. Anyway, I think I'll start wrapping this up. I start getting ridiculous thoughts about all these things. I generally write a brief outline, you know, a couple of sentences on a piece of paper. But when I started getting into this, I did so much research into it, months, that it's overwhelming sometimes. I think people should take the warning of people like Noam Chomsky. I even try to listen to and respect people I don't agree with. That's part of my regimen and my method of doing things. If I gotta listen to Tucker fucking Carlson and Ben Shapiro and these maniacs, and there are just as maniacs on the other side with Rachel Maddow and whatever. I do listen, I do read the articles, I try to keep myself unbiased in these things. But in today's day and age with Trump as president, good luck. It's just a fucking shit show almost every day. And you can't fucking figure out what the fuck's really going on. Because I'd like to see some real topics that are important. I mean, if you want to take out Trump, you, you go against the things he screwed over, the unions and the bad things. You don't just keep screaming about Trump or Russia and Putin puppets and that crap. Give me the hard evidence. Have your hearings, both sides. I don't give a shit. I'm not favoring one side or the other while I think... I'm leaning Democrat because in my older years now, the religious angle is just something I can't deal with. So I would say I am biased towards Democrat, but no longer corrupt ones, if that makes a difference. And then because I'm uh, open-minded, you give me a Republican who stands on some of the uh, arguments that I stand for and has stances and champions some of the things that I value, I'll vote for them. So I'm not going to just turn a blind eye to logic and reason. And that's what I think too many people do. I hope to see more people visit my channel, leave comments. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, I'll see you then.